This poor car has been sitting outside for two weeks now. Not sure if you can hear the brakes, they're a little crunchy. Anyway, um, hi. If you missed two weeks ago, I didn't upload a video. Last week we were at Obsessed Garage, which unfortunately a lot of you didn't watch that video. I thought it was pretty cool to tour the facility, but you know, to each their own. Not everybody has the same interests as I do. Uh, but we are back in the BMW today of, of cars. If you're new to the channel somehow, I have a 2016 Audi S6 and this, which is a 2004 BMW M3 with 342,679 miles on it. I'm the second owner, I've put about 1,000 miles on it. Actually, a little less. Uh, anyway, I was editing TikToks last night. And when I was editing TikToks, I came across this old video. I'm basically, uh, I, I kind of challenged myself to start posting more short form video because I have this massive archive of old videos that I can take stuff from and repurpose and post on TikTok to uh, a majority of people who obviously haven't seen the channel. Hopefully that then entices them to come talk to the, or come see the channel uh, and check out some videos, but I'm not really sure what the conversion rate from TikTok to, uh, to Instagram is. Um, we could talk about social media strategy in a separate video. I kind of somewhat do that for my day job and then I've been doing that for like 10 years on the internet. So if you guys are curious on my take, on social media as a whole, I'm happy to make a separate video about that, let me know. But, anyway, I came across this video from the GTI days. If you didn't know, my first YouTube car, my first car that I had when I was making YouTube videos was a 2008 GTI. That's a Mark V, fifth generation, uh, four-door, United Gray. And this video is called Saying Goodbye to My GTI because at the time I was buying kind of the car that I had dreamed about, which was my 2013 Audi S4. Um, and uh, watching this video and watching all the memories I had in that car and kind of watching everything that I had gone through and all that, I'm like, man, like I, I wish I could have that back. Um, and I thought about it a lot last night. I was up late thinking about it. Um, and, oh, is that TPMS late? It might be TPMS. I might have a low tire. Anyway, um, I thought about it a lot last night, and I was like, what exactly is it that I'm after? Um, because I don't think it's the car. Uh, and separately, I'd love to build another Mark V and do what kind of high school slash college me couldn't have done because, you know, funds and stuff like that. I'd love to build another one, but I don't think it's the Mark V that I'm missing. And the more I thought about it, I realized it's like the more simple days that I'm missing. Now, um, if we're gonna go personally to me, obviously I was a college student, there was way less to worry about, like I was worried about my GPA. Now I have a family, you gotta worry about work, you gotta worry about you know your significant other, you gotta worry about your son, et cetera, et cetera. So there's a lot more on my plate these days. Um, and you know, free time is, is much less common, but more so, uh, I think the car scene has shifted a lot. Um, you know, in 2013, and, and maybe part of it is me becoming jaded, I'll, I'll take some of that, but in 2013, we had our Thursday night uh, uh, mall meets at our local mall, and I would show up there at like seven o'clock, or basically as soon as I could get there, they started at seven technically, and we would stay out until like 11.30 or 12 at night, shooting pictures, shooting the, you know what, um, just talking and, and learning, getting to know each other, and I built this great core group of friends, and. Uh, we did that for two, three, four years, and then suddenly people kind of started, you know, going this way, going that way, which is how life goes. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with that, and that's not a shot at anyone. Um, people, over time, go different places. Um, but that that feeling of, like, going to see my car family on Thursday nights or, like, getting a random text from the boys on Tuesday saying, hey, we're going in the city to get cookies. You want to come? Um, that is no longer a thing in my life. Um, the reality is we've gotten older, we've gotten more priorities, we have, you know, go to work in the morning, we're not as young as we were. I can't stay up till very late at night and wake up very early in the morning anymore without feeling like crap. Um, so, I miss that. Um, and then broader to the car scene, you know, 2013, 2014 was really like the, the kickoff of the Instagram days. Like H2O was still a Volkswagen Audi show for the first two-ish years that I was in the car scene. And then it turned into the 
mess that it no longer is now. Um, but 2013, 2014, like, you know, I was taking pictures of people's cars, not because I wanted to post them on Instagram and get the clout, but because it was fun. Like, I like showing people pictures of their cars, and, and you know, no one's paying anybody anything. No one's posting it, trying to get six billion likes. It's not getting shared across 16,000 pages. It, it was just fun. And now, I mean, it, it seems like it's all about Instagram. How many sponsorships can you get? What can we do to make, uh, you know, my car look better than another person's? What can I do that's different? Um, it's not the same that it was 10 years ago, and, and you could call me, you know, kind of a, a boomer, I guess, for saying, hey, back in my day, 10 years ago, everybody was friendly. But, like, when you show up to a car meet these days, I don't think there's the kind of welcoming environment that there was when I was first going to them. Um, so the question is, how do we change this or how do we get this back? Because I can focus on the negative the whole time. Um, the reality is, I think... Me, as a person, I need to, one, accept the fact that uh, it's never going to be the same. Um, and and that's, just, that's just a hard truth to accept. Like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I have different life priorities now. I'm never going to be able to go out every single night and, and do whatever I want. Um, but uh, it's modulating my time or, or changing my priorities a little bit to bring back the things that I want. For example... Um, when I go to those mall meets now, I leave at like 8 o'clock, show up at like 7.15, leave at 8 because my son needs to go home. Um, so, you know, maybe it's figuring out a way for someone else to watch him so I can go there for the, the full time and hang out with the guys. Um, I also, and I think a lot of you will agree with me, think that the whole C-O-V-I-D thing, maybe if I spell it I won't get flagged. Um, we've all kind of isolated in our own bubble. Now, regardless of, of what you think of it, where your political stance is, what your personal stance, whatever, um, we aren't seeing as many people as we used to see. And so the car friendships that I used to have have kind of faded. So, I mean, it's on nobody but myself to kind of bring that stuff back and, and get together with people. I'm, I'm going to uh, Florida with Doc M3 this weekend to shoot a video, but more so to hang out with him because I haven't hung out with him since Pretty much, uh, actually I think we went to Florida last year, but I haven't hung out with just Cody and I in, in a long, long, long time. Um, so uh, the moral of the story is the car scene has changed. I miss what I had, but the, the kind of reality is that uh, I'm not gonna be able to get that back. So it's a question of modulating my car experience and, and changing my mindset to shift my, wow, that's a, this is a lot, modulating, changing, shifting, but ultimately it's it's shifting my priorities from, ultimately it's shifting my priorities, from, this is actually the exact intersection that I got in an accident, and that's for, I got a one right there by a plow. Um, it's shifting my priorities from, hey, what does the best on the internet, back to, hey, what makes Eli happy? Um, and now those two are kind of blended these days because success on the internet and, and cars doing well and videos doing well does give me a sense of happiness. Obviously, it's not the only reason I'm doing this, but um, there's a sense of accomplishment in that that I enjoy. Um, I actually don't know where I'm going here, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, but it's going to be shifting back towards me and, and buying cars that I want to buy. Like this BMW was a car that I wanted to buy because I wanted to learn and experience it. I didn't want to just kind of, you know, buy a Mark 7 for the sake of buying a Mark 7. I, I, I'd love to explore one and I'd love to experience one. They have a lot of cool stuff for them now, but um, it's, it's, you know, this is a car that I wanted to buy and I'm glad that I bought it because it's been fun. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know how you feel about the uh, the state of the car scene these days. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity. And I will catch you guys in the next video.